Ealing Comedy is a film by new director Neville Rashid. After spending 20 years on the financing side of the film industry, Neville took the plunge and became a producer. Welcome everyone to the Sunday service. Besides, there are too many happy, clappy people like you on a Sunday. I prefer traditional British decorum. Large parts of his semi-autobiographical film were shot in Neville's local church here in Ealing. Tell me, why was this church used so much in the film? Well, this is the church uh, in which I worship, and it was very integral to the story and the, the whole uh, experience of, uh, of Alfie and his mother and his son and his wife was when they actually did come together and were a family, which I'm afraid is totally biographical. <laughs> There's no coincidence there. And we actually shot quite a lot of scenes just exactly where we're sitting right now. Let us pray. Please, God, send a bolt of lightning to smite the Fenian hussy. I just want some cash. Her wheelchair rolls under a truck. Winning try at Twickenham. And so how did you become a Christian? Um, I had a very extraordinary um, uh, background in that my father had been adopted by Edith Ewart, um, a, a missionary, a white, British white missionary in, um, in what is now Bangladesh, but a place called Rajshai. And he was brought up and adopted legally as her son and she went on to love me and support me as her grandson and put me through school and helped me through university. And then, like every Christian, I think one got to university and you, you were in your um, early 20s and began to doubt and all the doubts came in. And I think that really towards the time of my late 20s, when she was still with us, um, I went down to see her one day and really, I think it was really looking into her eyes that I just became absolutely uh, convinced that she had been able to love my father and me, cutting across race, color, creed, everything because of, the, of her faith in Christ. And really that energized and completely brought back my faith to a very simple level. Thank you very, very much. My wife, Shagri, she's actually a cross, uh, if that's the right word, between a Sikh and a Hindu, uh, which is unusual e even by I Indian standards. So your uh, family home really is like a microcosm of society. You're uh, a Christian with a, a Muslim surname, and your wife is half Hindu and Sikh. And, you know, we, we really do believe that, you know, it is about tolerance and, um, and coming together and that you, do, you find the common denominator in all faiths because that's really what all faiths are, all trying to find, you know, a, a common purpose, just different roads to, this, you know, to, the, same, to the same goal.